this actually comes up a lot for me when I am doing the work or thinking about doing the work or sometimes hear other people do the work. Sometimes I think um, it feels like it's a way of avoiding a, a problem with someone or sort of taking um, sort of taking the blame myself instead of maybe looking at doing uh, somehow doing something with this person. And I understand it's a self work. Like we're just looking at ourselves. I get that. But sometimes it feels like it's taking, it's moving the emphasis to a place where it's less helpful. Yeah. Does that make does. sense? Yes. It's a definitely a, a, a common um, thought or doubt that comes up with regards to the work. And it's something to consider seriously for sure. Um, you know, the work for me is for this domain, this internal domain of my own experience. But sometimes it gets confusing because we're dealing with outside things. And sometimes uh, there's like, uh, it, it can be confusing where you're thinking, oh, I shouldn't, you know, I, I should take it more easy on the outside. I shouldn't be as proactive or I should just take it um, as it, as it comes kind of thing. And well, it's more, it's more like I'm thinking a situation where um, this is to the extreme, but like, say there's, you're in an abusive situation right. or relationship and you're doing the turnarounds and you're turning everything in on yourself and it doesn't seem as helpful. Right. You know? Exactly. This is a, that's the classic uh, case of this. And so what helps me is to remember what the work is for. The work is for me to take care of my own inner experience. And so if I'm in an abusive relationship and I do the work, I'm going to find how I'm abusing myself in that process. Basically how I am making it even worse than it is. It's a bad situation. There's no doubt, but, but, what the work points out is how I'm making it even worse for myself. And so it can help me bring that back down. At least I stop abusing myself a bit or even abusing the other person. Like I come to a more neutral place, but that doesn't mean that their actions are not off or that I should even stay in the relationship. So, um, once I gain a little clarity, once I stop beating myself up um, or stop abusing myself in a situation, then I have a little more clarity to take action in a more objective way. So um, in many times, I, I've had the experience where I actually have gained courage from doing the work. Like I actually have, I'm like less victimized. Like when I'm victimized, someone's abusing me and I'm in a victim position. And then I really take on that victim position. I'm paralyzed. So, but when I do the work, I start seeing that I'm not totally a victim here. Yes, there is abuse happening, but I also have some, some movement, some ability to uh, do something with that, either completely freeze myself or possibly, um, um, see other alternatives. And so if I give myself a little more space and which is, which is what I experience happens when I do the work, then often I'll find um, solutions to the problem, including leaving or standing up for myself or um, any number of other things. And then of course, I think that all that speaks to like, when you get to the point where you're like, I look forward to blah, blah, blah. It's sort of like I can see that in that situation because it's it turns all the resources onto yourself, right. which is the whole work is about that. But it's like I look forward to because no matter what, like I have the resources to move into this to handle this. That's right. It's um, the opposite of being um, powerless. It's empowering. That's what we're doing with the work. We're shifting the responsibility from the other person towards ourself and as long as you do that gently and don't beat yourself up, then it's actually very empowering. Then, then suddenly, wait a minute. Um, yeah, this is an abusive person, but I don't have to 
just stand there and take it. Like I have a lot of options and that's what the work's about. Or become abusive as well. Right. Which is the tenth, like react, you know, be highly reactive. Exactly. Because reaction will lead to more abuse. Either I'll abuse the person back or I'll abuse myself or both. And when I do the work, I, I step out of that abuse cycle a bit and just start seeing things from a little bit bigger perspective. And then I'm like, well, of course, this doesn't make sense. Why would I stay in a situation that's abusive? That's not kind to myself and certainly not serving the other person either. So, so yeah, clarity gives more space. That's, that's what we're doing here. It's, that's helpful. Like I've heard you say this. I think, I think I've even asked this question before, but it's, it, I get confused every time it comes up even though I feel like something helpful is happening. So it's just, it's just good to hear it again yeah. and again. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. And just because I get clear on the inside doesn't mean I become like a doormat, basically. That's sort of where we, what, what this whole thing is about. I, I actually become stronger inside and, and more courageous. And the result is often action that looks really quite firm and strong which is the opposite. So really the, the turnaround really isn't, I mean, this has helped clearing it up for me. It's not turning it on myself. It's looking at the truth of myself. Some may or may not be accurate, but it's helping me get clear on me. Right. The turnaround, whatever someone else is doing, it's really not about them. It's about, no, let me turn this around and see where does this live in me so that I can work with that. That's right. That's right. Taking taking my power back. That's what's happening. I'm taking my power back Yeah. when I see that. And that's, yeah, that's the opposite of becoming wimpy or, or um, complacent. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. Thank you.